Hello, my name is Dr. Caroline Novak, and I'm a physician at the Vein Treatment Clinic, part of the VIP Medical Group. Today I'm going to answer a question that is common among patients who are considering treatment for varicose veins and spider veins. Is sclerotherapy safe? Sclerotherapy is a treatment method that can be used to treat spider veins, varicose veins, and venous insufficiency, the underlying disease that causes both spider veins and varicose veins. To perform sclerotherapy, a qualified vein doctor injects a special medicine called a sclerosant into an unhealthy vein. This medication irritates the walls of the vein. This irritation causes a significant inflammatory reaction, which closes your vein, blocking all flow. Blood flow is then rerouted to healthy veins, and the residual vein shrinks and fades. For spider veins, thin blue veins that lie just underneath the surface of the skin, your vein doctor will use a teeny tiny needle and inject liquid sclerotherapy directly into the veins. This can cause a reaction on the surface of the skin that looks a little bit like a bug bite, but it goes away quickly and it's perfectly safe. For larger varicose veins, big blue veins that swell and bulge above the surface of the skin, or for the saphenous veins that cause venous insufficiency, ensuring safety is slightly more complex and it's very important to work with an experienced vein doctor. Before performing sclerotherapy on a larger vein, your doctor will perform an ultrasound exam, looking for connections to your deeper veins and carefully injecting sclerotherapy in any connections that he or she sees. Often, a slightly different technique called foam sclerotherapy is required. In foam sclerotherapy, the sclerosin is mixed with air. This allows your vein doctor to use less medication to fill a larger vein, making sclerotherapy safer. The risks of sclerotherapy are minimal if performed correctly. There's an extremely low risk of an allergic reaction, an extremely low risk of developing a blood clot, and a very, very low risk of infection. These risks are all much lower if performed by an experienced physician using appropriate technique. You can learn more at www.veintreatmentclinic.com. I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, and thank you for listening today.